Okay, our next guest is Anudif that is, uh, he graduated at the Bits Balani University and currently is even... Uh... Hey everyone, my name is Chani Vyas. Okay, our next guest is Anudif that is, uh, gra he graduated at the Bits Balani University and currently is even a uh, research advisor for robotics in this university. So this is a very good example on how you start with an Arduino and your profession turns into something that is very much Arduino related. So please, Anadi, tell us when you first discovered Arduino. Oh, so for, I first discovered Arduino during a workshop with the assembly here in Dubai. Back in the time I was studying my first year as an electronics engineer. Uh, so I got started with microcontrollers, but I never knew how to start using or start building projects with uh, uh, using an actual microcontroller. Uh, so that's when Arduino came in and the simplicity of Arduino actually helped kick things off for me and uh, that's how things started with Arduino. During the workshop I learned how to tinker with it and then I continued tinkering and learning more and more about the Arduino and by the by two years from then, I started building serious stuff with it. And yeah, most of my robotic projects were based on Arduino. And from there, we continued with the Arduino, yeah. Okay, so what you found interesting was the simplicity and how it demystified the fact that microcontrollers are something that engineers can use. So you were exactly. one by the simplicity. And also, I've been told that you are making amazing stuff currently. So please show us some of your creation that are born as Arduino stuff and then became some more, more, even more sophisticated product. Please show us. Sure, sure. So this is a rover we use at the lab. Uh, it, 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 its controller is mainly based on an Arduino controller where uh, we designed the circuit around the Arduino chip as an Arduino and a bunch of wires. And once we were happy with it, it turned into a proper uh, board which is controlling this robot. Yeah. Wow, so this robot is quite sophisticated. I see you are using specific kind of wheels that allow you to have the machine to move in different directions. So yes. also the software that controls that robot has to be something that's that is quite sophisticated. Have you got any particular thing inside like AI or uh, some kind of remote control thing into this robot? Uh, yeah, so this robot is actually being built to be fully autonomous. Uh, it's one of our core uh, robots for autonomous navigation research in indoor environments. So yeah, there is a secondary brain which we attach, uh, which does most of the AI based work and feeds the data to the Arduino so that the Arduino is able to control the wheels and make the robot move in different directions or how we want to move the robot. Yeah. Okay, so what happens here is that you found in Arduino the solution that allowed you with its environment, with the software, with the libraries, with the open source thing you were able to find around. It was the first bit of a puzzle that is much more complicated that is your design for this autonomous, autonomous robot that to me look quite a sophisticated application. But I think that what you found is that the time to market or the time to a prototype was much yeah. shorter thanks to Arduino. And exactly. before, before you got to those robots, was there any kind of project is worth sharing with us? Uh, before we got to this robot, yeah. Uh, I always like to build rovers. So the first robot I built was, uh, I used an Arduino with a BLE, a Bluetooth low energy module, and uh, we integrated it so that we could make a remote control robot, right? Remote control RC car using a Bluetooth, uh, this thing. I also used Arduino for a very interesting project I would like to tell you. Uh, this was actually done for Philips where we were trying to prototype of uh, an IoT coffee machine. A coffee machine which we could control with our apps, uh, with a mobile app. So the way we did that was we actually removed everything inside the coffee machine, the main control circuit, and replaced it with an Arduino-based 
Arduino uh, Yun, actually, Arduino Yun. We replaced that, and uh, uh, through that, we were able to control, to build this prototype IoT uh, coffee machine back in 2015, I think. Yeah. Wow. Back, yeah that, that was yeah. quite an achievement. Okay, so yeah. it looks like you are a very good example on how you can benefit from the open source, from the sharing attitude, and I think they are very, very good example of on how the Dubai community of Arduino uh, makers and lovers is really getting somewhere. So it's not just hobby, it's real work. You are in a position that yes. you, we, you will leave some signs, some, some footprints into the history of technology because you are working in a very interesting way on interesting stuff and innovative projects. So thank you very much for using Arduino. Thank you very much for being part of this community. And I hope you will will hear again about you in the close future. Thank you very much. It's, for my, your it's, a, pleasure. it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.